We want you to use us so that you can be powerful, so that you can reclaim the Rockaways, reclaim the South Bronx, reclaim Red Hook, reclaim Brownsville, East New York, New Jersey, every single place. So over the past two days, we, over the past two days, we had the uh, the largest gathering of young people of color to discuss climate change in the United States of America, and um, we had everything from learning circles to a justice concert, and there were tons of organizations that came out. Some that do environmental justice and climate justice work, and others that don't. Um, we did invite our mayor; he didn't come. Um, De Blasio, we invited him, no show, and uh, we started this this little hashtag called Where Is De Blasio. Because, you know, we got to him, we tried to get out to him every way we could, and he just didn't show up. So when you're a group, when I call your group, you are going to come up, the two representatives are going to come up to the front and present to the rest of the family. We can do that? Yeah. We can do that? A lot of the learning circles that we had, everything from the dig, burn, and dump economy to, um, to zero waste are, are new concepts that are coming up. And though I've, I, I've been doing climate justice and environmental justice, all these topics are new to me, and I, I learned what a dig, burn, and dump economy was, and how even though um, there might not be any, how there might not be extraction in our neighborhoods, our, our neighborhoods, being low-income communities of color, are still at the front line of this, and they're still being directly affected by these extractions, even though they're not in our communities. And, and that's the case with a lot of environmental and climate justice issues. If, even if you can't see it on the outside, it's, it's still doing harm to our communities. I think it's really the people and the bond between the people. You know, when I think about environment, that really sustains us. And also the green spaces, I didn't know about it. I had elders in my neighborhood who connected us to our gardens, who connected us to the importance of our rivers. So I think it's the human bonds between us that really make up a big part of what I consider environment. There, there were people who came into this with uh, very conservative mindsets. And I've heard that you know, like they're starting to view these issues in a very different light in ways that they've never thought about. So even being able to change somebody's, somebody's mind or you know, open their eyes to a new way or a new perspective of looking at things, it's, that, that's, that's all we aim to do. And this is a jump off to the People's Climate March. On September 21st, we're, we're gonna have the largest climate march. In, in all of the United States of America, in all of the, in all of the U.S. on September 21st. So People's Climate March is coming up. We're excited about raising our voices and being represented and having our issues heard. Um, so what we want to do is start developing some of those ideas. I know some of y'all haven't had a chance to advance a little bit, and some of y'all have been thinking about this. And so now is the moment. Here's the chance to start developing the plans I do believe the summit was a success. I saw I saw a lot of new faces, um, you know, joining in on the environmental and climate justice movement. I've been I've been a part of it since I was 14. I'm 23 years old now. It's that's a huge gap, and to continue to see new faces, both old and young, continuing to uh, join the movement, it, it's really inspiring, and um, and it, it you know it helps me continue doing this work because it's a long battle, and there are short victories along the way, but ultimately the goal is to um, have you know, environmental and climate equity and justice amongst all communities, no matter where you're from, whether you're black, Latino, um, white, Asian, whatever it is, Middle Eastern, we want equal equality and justice for all communities. If there's one thing that I hope people take away from the summit is that, is that you, know, you, can, you can do what you wanna do. And, and it's as simple as that. If they're persistent, if they believe, and if they put their mindset to it, they can, they can conquer the world, and hopefully they conquer the world in, in a good and just way, but you know, they can definitely do what they want to do. It, it all takes hard work and persistence, and if we all work together as a community, that's, that'll make all the difference.